I just want to say how thrilled we are uh, to welcome our new students today to our campus and to welcome their families to our family. We know that this is a very significant day for you and your families. But I also want you to know that this is a terribly important occasion for Hofstra University. Your arrival on our campus today literally invigorates and exhilarates all of us. All summer long, we're all walking around quiet with our heads down. Today, new students come to campus. There's a sense of excitement. There's a, there's a, a, a sense of mission in the air. You have been painstakingly selected out of a pool of more than 22,000 applications for 1,600 seats for admission. The class of 2013 is by every single objective measure the most highly qualified and the most diverse entering class in the proud history of this great university. And the same is true for our transfer students. You come to us from across the country and from around the globe. And you wouldn't have been accepted here unless you have demonstrated an impressive list of accomplishments, a demonstrated commitment to helping others, and a strong desire to achieve much more than that. The faculty of Hofstra University and the administration know that you will succeed here. We have not a single doubt about it, given who you are. We know that you will graduate, and we know that you will join the ranks of more than 110,000 Hofstra alumni who have achieved success in virtually every field of endeavor you can think of. Among our alumni are CEO and senior officers of the nation's most successful businesses. They include highly respected journalists and news producers from every one of the major networks and the major daily newspapers around the nation. They include artists such as film director Francis Ford Coppola, novelist Nelson DeMille, actors Susan Sullivan, Margaret Colin, and Joe Morton. Everybody loves Raymond's creator. Did, did you ever see the episode where they wear a Hofstra uh, sweatshirt? Well, that's why, because the creator of Everybody Loves Raymond, director Phil Rosenthal, met his future wife, who played Amy in the program, Monica Rand, while they were both students at Hofstra. Professional athletes, such as Golden State Warriors, he just got traded in June, uh, guard Speedy Claxton, and New Orleans Saints receiver Marcus Colston were student athletes at Hofstra. The newly installed president of Northwestern University, Dr. Morton Shapiro, was a Hostra graduate. And the dean of the Yale School of Management, Sharon Ostrick, is one as well. The current governor of the state of New York and the current controller of the state of New York are Hostra alums as well, as is Philip Shalero, who is President Obama's first assistant for legislative affairs. So, in sum, our alumni have succeeded in government, in Wall Street, and on Broadway, in downtowns across the country, and in countries spanning the globe. Whether they're attorneys or physicians, or accountants, or public servants, or professors, or teachers, or engineers, or risk managers, they have all reaped the benefits of a hostile education and so will every one of you. We pledge to you that we will do everything that is humanly possible to help maximize the potential of each and every one of you. But since I will have the opportunity to speak to our new students on many occasions, I want to turn the rest of my brief time uh, this afternoon to another section of the audience, uh, one that I have great empathy with, and that is to the families and friends who are responsible for the presence of these terrific students on our campus today. So let me address you as parents and family. Everything you have done has prepared your children for this moment in time. I know you have nurtured them and loved them and you have sacrificed for them. I know you've helped them with their homework and cheered them in various athletic and artistic endeavors. Perhaps you even had the courage, which I lacked, to teach them how to drive. I just couldn't do it. 
But more importantly, and most importantly for these purposes, you gave them a moral compass. That's really what they need to succeed in life. You taught them right from wrong. And lastly, but not least, you help make what we know is not an easy decision in these economic times. We know it's a difficult decision. But you help them choose lasting value for higher edu for their higher education. In short, every step you have taken with your children has prepared them for the day when your son or your daughter will begin his or her own journey and begin it at Hofstra University. They are now young men and women, and because of your love and support, they are well prepared for the life they are about to enter. To the families, in particular, of our residential students, not long after the end of this formal program, you will, in most likelihood, go home, but your child will not go with you this time. He or she will stay with us. And I am sure that this will be a poignant moment for the entire family. I know that it will not be easy to say goodbye today. I know from personal experience what the last year has been like for most of you. It was not that long ago that I watched my own two children grow up. It felt like a blink of an eye. I went from good night moon to preparing for college in like two seconds. I, like you, struggled with them through SAT preparation and testing and final exams, drove long hours to countless colleges. I always got lost in the years before GPS existed. And I tried to help figure out for my own children which college would be right for me. And then I remember exactly where you are today. I remember how difficult it was after all of those years and after all of the hubbub and all of those decisions and all of those life lessons to leave them one day in their dorm room to a new life. I can tell you that my children survived college. They thrived. They did return home after graduate school for a while, so it's not like you lost them. I lost them forever. They went on to prosper. I survived. And I have every single confidence that your children will not only do well here, they will flourish here. Because of you, your children are adults who are ready to make their mark on the world. But what I promise you is that while they will be here, they will not be alone. This applies to all of our students, residential students and commuter students, class of 2013 transfer students, continuing students. Every one of our students are members of a caring and a nurturing and an interconnected community. That is what they deserve. That is what they need to fully realize their potential. And that is, in part, what, why you chose to enroll them at Hofstra University. Our faculty are great teachers, but they will be more than that. They will be more than that. They will be your children's mentors. The administration and the staff of this university are deeply committed to the well-being and happiness of each and every one of our students. All of us are here because we have made the choice of education as our life's work. We will be available to your children for advice, for guidance, for support, and any direction we can offer. And we will help them to understand that they should care about and for each other. We know we're not you. We're not taking your place. We're not trying to. We're not their parents. But know that we have a deep and abiding sense of responsibility for their welfare and for their happiness. Let me conclude this afternoon by just giving some advice to our new students. I've got to save something for September 2nd, so I can't go through all of my first day of college advice. But this is important advice that I want to give you with your parents and families in the same room. Remember to call them text message them. I even now text message with my, one of my children. I finally learned how to do that. Or email them. 
often. Be in touch with your family often. Tell them how you're doing. Tell, you have to tell them what you'll need. I mean, that I don't have to tell you. When they send you those care packages, call them to thank them. In general, take advantage of everything that the university has to offer you. I can tell you at my ripe old age that there will never be another time in your life quite like your college years. Never. Make the most of it. Squeeze every drop out of it. And then tell your parents about what you've done. I look forward to getting to know you over the next four years. I wish each and every one of our students the best of luck, but I, don't, you don't, I know you don't need too much luck. I know you are ready for the journey ahead. Thank you for coming to Hofstra, and have a good day.